hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm jada lynn cross and weekly i share lifestyle cleaning or mommy videos today will be a cook with me so i share two recipes for a crock pot and a freezing meal i'm heading to grocery shop now so just come and shop with me and let's get all the ingredients we need for later on hey so okay i just arrived to the grocery store so this is what i'm going to do i'm going i'm going to go straight in i'm going to stick to my grocery list Everything that's checked off on my grocery list is what I already had in my pantry or fridge. And I'm super excited because the whole thing about it is I lose motivation with cooking when I have too many options. And because I'm an overthinker, it just becomes too complicated. So I get overwhelmed and I stop and I just don't want to do it at all. So this time I have two meals that's so easy and they taste good. They taste super good. Um, so I'm excited for you guys to try it with me and tell me if you enjoyed it too. All right, somebody just put up on me and I don't want to look weird, so peace out. They be tripping. $5 for these three. <sighs> mini sweet peppers I really want this to be cheap though like I really don't want to spend a whole lot of money but I think I'm going to break down and buy two of the peppers for five dollars because I use them often and I can freeze them so that's what I'll do I have a confession, I've never actually technically bought chicken thighs before. Are they supposed to be this cheap? Like, are they not good ones? Like $4, but I get, you get like two, four, six of them in a pack. I don't know y'all, I guess, I guess this is a good thing. Oh, I'm within budget for real. I could probably make like two meals out of this, wow. Okay, well, let's go with our $4 chicken thighs. to buy these smoothies but what I'm gonna do is and I've been wanting to do this for a long time I'm actually going to screenshot the ingredients and then I'm going to try to make it on my own and I'll be so proud of myself because I know I get more and it'll be even more healthy but doesn't that look delicious Dang. let my kitchen get out of control so I have some work to do before I let this even touch any of that. So let's clean. So today I'm going to make Hawaiian pineapple chicken in a crock pot. But first I'm going to sear the um, the chicken thighs in the pot. So I already pre-seasoned them with um, black pepper, garlic powder, um, onion powder, and salt. You know the original recipe was telling me uh, they didn't need no seasoning. But you know I know better than that. So. Let me go ahead. Now that I think about it, I would have just got a little bigger pot. So I'm just gonna do four. You know, let's just do four of them. And, uh, I think that's how many. I'm gonna save these for later, so I'm probably gonna freeze these. So that's gonna be good that they're gonna be marinated in that. And I'm gonna freeze them. 
So while that's over there searing, I'm going to go ahead and make the marinade for this. So I have a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to use something equivalent to maybe three tablespoons of honey. So let's see. That look like a tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. All right, that looks good. Soy sauce, something equivalent to maybe one tablespoon. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, you know, if you like that little, that little taste taste. And a little bit of ground sugar. So this is, I mean, not ground sugar, <laughs> ground ginger. So this is like really powerful, so you don't need a lot. So that's not even like a teaspoon. Maybe like half of a teaspoon. I don't know. So I'm just going to whisk, 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 whisk. Really well. Let me do this off camera so I can really, you know, get my rhythm and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have it everything in there. It looks so gorgeous. I added the rest of my onions, my pineapples, my peppers. Um... I put a little salt in there. I'm gonna actually add a little bit of more garlic powder because I'm working too hard for this not to have a really good taste. Adding my pepper. And I think we're done. So I'm gonna let this cook on high for four hours. So while the crock pot meal is going, I'm gonna do the zesty chicken. I've already pre-rinsed out my chicken legs. You can use chicken legs, chicken breasts, chicken thighs. I don't know, whatever you like. Um, but these are really good. This recipe is really good with uh, the chicken legs, drumsticks, whatever. So garlic powder, um, I already put a little salt in there. And then some black pepper. So let me mix it all in. And then boom, you see how easy that was? Now. The next step, you won't believe it. You open up that um, freezing meal. So I believe in cross-contamination, y'all. So this is my free hand. This is the hand that doesn't touch the chicken. And then I just simply put that in there. And you don't have to worry about seasoning super heavy because trust me, that Italian dressing is super strong. And it would, as it marinates, your chicken will have a really good flavor. So, boom. Now that I got those chickens in there, the next thing that I do, I'm going to, I am going to like uh, take these gloves off now that I dealt with the chicken. So I can take my gloves off now. I know that my hands are safe and clean. And my peppers and my onions, I got in your Italian dressing. This is going to be your marinade. This is what's going to be marinating that chicken. I'm going to stop a little bit, close it, shake it up to make sure. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> to make sure, don't do that y'all, to make sure that it gets all in there. You got it up, babe? You just sent me? Okay. on the track. Okay guys, so this is the final product of the Hawaiian pineapple chicken. This was so delicious. Um, the flavors definitely came through. I probably could have added a little bit more brown sugar for a little bit more flavor. And I was actually expecting for it to make like a, a, a thick glaze, but it was so good. It was still good. My husband really, really loved it. Um, he's really into like sweet things like pineapples and stuff like that. So he loved it. Um, this is so easy. As you can see, just tender, just good um so what you see me doing right now is i'm going to actually put it in the boiler because i actually like a little crisp to my chicken so i'll show you at the end how that turned out so it's optional for you and those reynolds crock pot bags were bomb look at that beautiful so 
fix this. Please join me. Um, let me know what you think. Tag me if you make this recipe. I'm on Instagram at Jadalyn Cross. And until next time, guys. Bye.